someone has been shopping today i'm going to do a compulsory good old alta 21 days of beauty sale event hall or should i call it semi annual event hall like alta rebranded the sale but it's basically their 21 days of beauty sale event and i have got a couple of products not a couple actually i have quite a lot of products to share with you that i got and yeah without further ado let's get started Raise your hand if you do not like the new sale format. I know a lot of people do not like it, including myself. So Alter first released one week of the deals and then I think a lot of people were complaining about it and they changed it and they released the rest of their like deal products, which I appreciate. So yeah, let's just dive in. There are some restocks and some products were not part of the sale, but I ordered it because i needed backup and i think this is the best time to restock your favorite products because they are 50 percent off so why not so the first one that i have here is this max Studio fix compact plus uh foundation powder in the shade nc40 this is a cult classic and it is one of the best powders out there i love it i was watching a video of jacqueline hill where she was saying that there are not so many good powders out there and i totally agree like if I'm wearing my makeup, I am constantly reaching for either my Charlotte Tilbury or this one or my Flower Beauty pressed powder. Like that's it. I do not have any like favorite, favorite powder. And this is my favorite. And the one that I'm currently using, it's pretty beaten up. So I needed a backup. So it's a backup. There's I needed a backup for my favorite concealer. This is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got the shade 35N Medium. I got another one during the last sale event, but I ended up giving it to my sister-in-law. I do not have it um, with me anymore. So I needed one for myself and here it is. Now those were the backup items. Next, I got two lip liners from my favorite formula. This is from Anastasia and I have already purchased like three or four of them. I absolutely love this formula they are long lasting and they are pigmented creamy and i oopsie i am trying to replace my nyx lip pencils because the newer formula is not my favorite anymore the older formula was much more pigmented creamy long lasting and the newer formula is not creamy very dry and the pigmentation is not just there anymore so i think this Anastasia lip pencils and my MAC lip pencils are slowly becoming my favorite. Anyway, the first shade that I got is this parchment. Parchment, yeah. And one more thing, when you look at the box, like the top, it's actually a lot lighter than the actual pencil. So I just wanted to put it out there. So yeah, this is the shade parchment. It's a beautiful warm peachy brown shade and I think it's going to be a perfect shade for me and and this shade is actually pretty closer to nutmeg from uh, NYX Cosmetics that one is my favorite because I literally took nutmeg and brown with me to the store to like swatch them side by side and I found another one that is a spot on shade for the NYX lip liner in the shade brown and I'm super happy because this one right here this NYX lip pencil in the shade brown is my all time favorite lip liner shade lip liner formula and this is the shade brown it's a just beautiful like true warm brown shade and it just goes well with so many lipsticks i'm wearing today and this is the shade which shade are you sandstone see it is just a spot on shade this one so I am not going to repurchase my NYX one, so I needed a shade that is similar and I got this Anastasia ones. It was half off and I got them for like $11 each. So why Next, not? I got two more products. They were not part of the sale, but I just picked them up and these are the Viral Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream and Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump from Tarte. I have another one. I love that one so much. I think it was raspberry and I love the formula and I wanted to pick some more. So this is the shade which shade are you five hours later this is the shade honeysuckle uh it's a very light like brown kind of a shade though it looks mostly sheer but it has got a very nice brown hint to it and this is actually maracuja juicy lip cream this is a beautiful like 
warm peachy kind of a shade it is so pretty it's actually a lipstick it's not a lip gloss but it has got a very shiny finish oh it's so pretty i think it's going to be a perfect shade for this spring and summer like everybody talks about their like glosses like gloss sticks nobody totally really talks about their lip cream i actually enjoy their lip cream they are worth every single penny so yeah i picked this one up Next, I picked up this Urban Decay uh, Naked Quickie Concealer and I got the shade 50WY and when I got it, I was so shocked to see the bottle, like it's huge. Like I used to think that my Too Faced Born This Way one is like the biggest bottle of concealer but look at the size, like it's giving a solid competition, right? Like it's huge and I'm sure it will take me forever to go through. So this is the shade uh, 50WY. I have had so many good things about this concealer. So many people love it and Urban Decay is now available on Nykaa's website. So I'm super duper excited for that. I am definitely going to try it out and share with you my review because I'm super excited. And next, next I picked up this Too Faced Cloud Crush Blush in the shade Head in the Clouds. And I think it was on the during the first day of sale. Look how beautiful the shade is. It's like, I think, yeah, you can definitely see the color over here. It's a beautiful, like, pinky, peachy sort of a shade. So pretty and it has got a hint of, like, coral undertone to it it is so pretty and the packaging is super luxe like this packaging is like gushy this is just so stunning and i wanted to pick up another shade i think french tequila but i did not know what's coming up next so i was like what if something more exciting comes up and that's why i just did not pick it up and i'm like so mad right now i should have picked up the shade french tequila as well so yeah it is what it is okay so i completely forgot to include this one in my initial video so here editing nita including this so i got this third blush tab in the shade cherry i have been dying to try this one uh let's just open it up and here is how it looks like it is so pretty like look at the packaging so nice and here it comes Ooh, look at this and hope you can see it comes with an off and on like thingy over here which i really really appreciate and here is the swatch i know it's messy but you can get the idea it's like a rusty red kind of a situation over here so pretty like look at the glow it's stunning you okay, know let's get back to the video next i picked up this nude sticks nudies bra matte bronzer in the shade sun kissed now i have some thoughts okay first of all i love this formula all right i have two blushes from this line and i absolutely love them now i do not know why they marketed it as a bronzer because to me it is clearly a blush like can you see I do not consider it as a bronzer, maybe a bronzer, like blush bronzer hybrid, but definitely not a straight up bronzer. And I'm not saying that it's not pretty. It's, it is really pretty. The formula is really good. I have already used it. It's just, I have so many cream blushes at this point in my collection. I'm not really sure if I wanted another like blush shade in my collection you know what i mean like i do not have so many stick or cream bronzers i have so many cream blushes so i am a little bit disappointed with the shade i wish it was a true like bronzer shade if i am in a hurry and if i want something very quick and easy like i do not want to do my bronzer and my blush on top if i just want that one stop solution then i think it would be a perfect shade but for like contouring it's not a good shade like on my cheeks it still looks good but on my jawline on my forehead it straight up looks like a blush so i I am not sure about the shade i was planning to pick up the shade manila but i changed my mind last minute and i regret it <laughs> so yeah it's a good product i'm just not sure about the shade i might exchange it i might not we will see next i picked up this abh foundation luminous foundation and i got the shade 355n when it was first launched i was 
so into it i was planning to get it but then i i don't know what happened there i did not pick it up it was on sale a couple of times i still did not pick it up but recently i think i was watching a video of nikki um la rose i think she's a celebrity makeup artist and she was raving about this product and this is the time when i should pick it up so here it is it is i think it should match me right it's a beautiful like though it says 55 n but i should say it's pretty warm color like i swatched a couple of shades in store and i think this is the closest and the other shade like 335 w it was like a neutral kind of a shade so i am not sure about the undertone here but this shade should match me like you know if you want a review or not because i have been doing like a uh, foundation fridays where i review one foundation every single day today i'm wearing a foundation that i am reviewing it's my house labs foundation and if it is up i will link it in the description box below or if it is not up yet it's coming up pretty soon so stay tuned next is a repurchase and i picked it up after so many years so many years and it was my first ever high-end concealer can you believe it this is from nars this is their soft matte complete concealer and i got the shade medium to ginger it is a perfect shade match for me like it's very close to my skin tone so i can use it uh, to like spot conceal it's a beautiful concealer as far as i can remember like this used to be the thing back in 2016 2017 like everybody used to go gaga over this concealer and for for a good reason this is such a beautiful concealer it is creamy it is hydrating the coverage is beautiful it does not crease easily and i can use it to spot correct as well and as i mentioned this was my first ever high-end concealer before i started my youtube channel and i finished this one up then i purchased my two faced bond this one and i just fell in love with it and i just did not repurchase it but this time it was 50 percent off and I needed it okay this is a good concealer I got another concealer and this is REM beauty concealer I got the shade medium 2n now I was watching a video of Glamzilla where she said actually this concealer is better than my favorite Too Faced Too Faced Nars concealer so I needed to pick this one up as well but I'm not sure about the shade range though the shade is a little too light for me as at least like it's looking a little light i might like exchange it or we, we might give it a try who knows maybe it will work out so i'm super, super excited to try this concealer out as well let me know if you want me to review any of these products i will be more than happy to do it for you there is just one product that i did not get from alda but i still wanted to throw it in this haul and this is my cover fx um power play foundation and this is the shade m5 i think it should match me and look at the packaging it is so sleek like do you see how stunning the packaging is i think it is going to be a perfect container for traveling like you are actually getting one uh, 30 ml of product i think and it is pretty standard but the packaging is super super sleek so there was a sale going on on their website so i placed an order cover fx used to be available on alta i got all my lashes and bronzers from alta but they are not available anymore so i got it from their website and i am super duper excited to try it let me know if you want me to review it or not so yeah i think that is it so yeah those were the products that i got during the sale like all the 21 days of beauty sale event and uh please let me know what do you guys picked up if you have picked anything up or not and yeah stay tuned because i'm going to film a video of, uh, on like sephora sale event pretty soon so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope this video was helpful for you if you did then please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and tiktok then please to follow me there all the links will be given in the description box down below so make sure to check them out so yes you soon in my next video till then bye and take care bye